This is a short video of uh, what I'm trying to do to fix a Yamaha MX-1000 amplifier. Uh, the amplifier started getting a little bit of a scratchy noise in the left channel. Everything played fine, it's just that there was this little bit of scratching and it would actually register on the left channel meter. So initially what I did is I uh, checked the left channel input pot on the level control, I cleaned it and it didn't help the situation and then I desoldered the, that left pot from the board also inside and took it right out and the, the, the little bit of a scratchy sound was still there registering so I decided well I'll take it apart and uh, see what I can do to fix it and once I got it apart and realized how much I had to take apart just the recheck stuff I figured that I would recap the whole machine while I'm at it. Anyway this is the unit with the top off and the bottom off already and as you can see you can see the whole power supply on the top and you can access it from underneath to desolder caps etc but you have to remove the amplifier boards to do it and the same goes with vice versa. So anyway, as you can see, there's a lot of caps on that board there. The six biggest caps, I'm not going to bother changing. I figure they'll last a lot longer, being the big ones. But all the smaller caps on that board, I'm going to change. Now, if we come over to the back, to the rear of the unit. I've got the bottom off of this here. Here you can see the rear of the unit and the transistors and where I put a piece of paper there. Now it's actually not a big deal to uh, take out these amplifier boards. Yes it looks scary but really like if you can take out a screw you can almost get this done. Where every transistor is you're going to find that there's a, uh, a screw holding it in. So you take out the 10 screws along these 10 transistors and you take this screw out too. I left this one in there because that's just holding it in so it doesn't move until I finish taking it out. I haven't taken it out yet because my desoldering pump broke while I was going to take it out. But anyway, once you take out all these 10 screws here, there's a little plastic screw on each corner. If you look here, there's a plastic screw on the corner of this amplifier board and a little plastic screw on the corner of this amplifier board. You simply squeeze that little screw on this amplifier board with a pair of needle nose pliers and pull it out. And it'll come out like a plastic pin. After that, all you have to do is desolder these 10 units here. There's 10 little bobs there. And really all it is is you take the solder sucker like this, you heat up the little bob, and then you suck it away. And as you can see, I already did it with this one. There's no more bob holding this pin in. But my solder sucker broke at this point and I went and I glued it back together on the end here. I also ordered another one to replace it, but I'm going to continue taking out these boards. But all it is to remove these boards is again, you remove those screws, you remove this little metal piece, and then the board will start swinging. You remove these two pins here, and you desolder these clips. And we're not simply heat them up and suck them out. After that, this whole board will come out just like a wafer. And the same goes to the other side, it'll do the same thing, come out like a wafer. And then you'll have full access to the amplifier boards and the whole power supply from underneath. You won't have to remove the power supply at all, just the amplifier boards once they're out. You can pretty well access everything that's here. Well, I'm already running out of room for this video because I've only got a camera that does about four minutes. But that briefly will tell you how to get these amplifiers.